say bad, but don't say the b sound. Leave that part off. Okay? It's simple. It's easy. But actually, one out of three of you aren't very good at it. And one out of five of you are really impaired at it. And that is the number one predictor of who's going to have reading and spelling problems. Because that is a measure of your spoken language system's efficiency in processing speech sounds. So dyslexia has been shown to be a language processing deficit. It affects this part of the language cortex. But right next to this part of the brain cortex is the part of the brain that controls the fingers and the mouth. So many students with dyslexia also have poor handwriting skills. They have trouble learning how to use scissors. They have trouble with zippers and buttons. When they're more severe, they might even have trouble learning how to blow their nose. So you have all these co-occurring things that make sense when you understand the anatomy of how the brain is laid out and how these skills develop. The Morris Center Clinic is a transdisciplinary team.